The project before you saw is the NDA electric fire inspection vehicle. Before now and currently, they have been using internal combustion engines. By that I mean petrol engine and diesel engines to make fire inspection vehicles. But before you hear that, it is an electrically powered electric fire inspection vehicle, which is flawless, smokeless, and environmentally friendly. It is fully automated with a retractable system for mount and, and dismounting behind. It has a battery power which can last for four hours based on usage, and the four hours is a time well enough for any ceremonial parade. This vehicle has been tested and it has been found to be in good working condition. This one, also can a KJ land of the of mechanical engineering and faculty of engineering and technology. So this is such upgrade we have here. It's called the cycle for perimeter patrol. Escort duties and counter insurgency operations. So this cycle was designed in view of providing solutions to the insurgency problem in the notice. So this cycle is a three-wheel vehicle designed to carry two soldiers, so a rider and a gunner. So this cycle can mount on it. The GPU engine can mount on the cycle to the left and 90 degrees to the right of the rider. So this cycle has an effective perimeter patrol, effective escort duties, and it can be used for counter insurgency operations. So it, has, it can attain up to a speed of 140 degrees, 140 km per hour. It has a full carrying capacity of 20 liters. Engineering, faculty of engineering and technology. So the research and development effort before you, the mixer and the oven, it also have the gas unit. The mixer is powered by the solar unit, while the oven is powered by the gas unit. There's a, there are two gas cylinders behind which can serve the oven for 30 days. It is designed and fabricated to have the capacity to serve 500 men with fresh bread in the field per day. <coughs> Apart from the serving capacity, it also has a charging point that can be used in charging mobile devices and radios in the field. Even other facilities are being powered from this vehicle. It also has both interior and exterior lights for lighting up the camp or for night operation. The overall facility is powered by a mini truck. It is I or the from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. The two equipment I have here work together. This right here is the ginger vegetable slicer. This machine is made to slice all forms of agricultural products, such as ginger, tomatoes, potatoes, and other agricultural produce. The machine is operated by a gas engine or and use, also use a petrol engine. The machine is very easy to operate and suitable for mass production of agricultural produce. The machine was designed with Cardinal State in view as a major producer of agricultural produce. This equipment right here is a multi-purpose automated gas power dryer. This machine can use either gas or electricity as power source. The machine helps by dehydrating any agricultural products put into it. It helps to retain the taste the nutrients and the color of the agricultural produce. The machine is also very suitable for mass production and very easy to operate. So, obstacle energy are a main So the equipment before you is a 12 disposable water treatment plant. It is called 12 because it has both electricity and solar panel source of power supply. So this equipment can be dismantled and assembled within 20 minutes. And it also has a capacity of 20 liters. We can serve a couple of troops of soldiers in the field or one of the civilians in emergency situations. So this is third upgrade, which was done by the Chief Army Staff, Grand General T.Y. Prototype. The second upgrade was done by the Commandant, Central Defense Academy, Veteran General A.O.A. Bade, and is currently in use in DMT for cadet exercises. So the first product was second position in the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, Research and Development, Abuja 2017, among other universities in the country. The equipment can be used in IDP camps in the Northeast and other theater operations in the country. It also has four stopping points and can also be used to dispense water at a very quick rate. Yes, M. Ismail from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering and Technology. So, the research and development effort before you is called a solar powered fixed wing or man combat and surveillance area vehicle. It is serious. It has the capacity, it has the ability to carry out effective surveillance at the range of 2,000 meters. 
It is being controlled by a radio transmitter, which have a maximum range of two kilometers. It is a fixed wing aircraft, which is propelled by two propellers located at both sides of the wing. It can fly up to an altitude of two kilometers above the ground level. It also has a maximum, maximum range of two kilometers. It has a high definition camera attached to it to carry out surveillance. It also looks solar powered with an improved endurance of 45 minutes. I mean, the one zero four zero three on second at SS margin. The drone prototype before you is an unmanned air and ground surveillance vehicle. This vehicle has the ability to fly, and when there is any uh, unfavorable weather condition, it can also move on the ground. It has surveillance capability to take pictures, videos, and send it to the ground control via this remote controller. So, with further development on this vehicle, we can we can la mount light weapon on it and launch attack on our enemy locations without suffering any casualties. The 10849 of Circuit 3 in Uchebu, Department of Mechanical Engineering. The equipment before you is a mostly operated weapon station. It is fitted with a fire control system for light and medium caliber weapons. It can be mounted on warships, combat vehicles, or air based combat platforms. This equipment rotates 360 degrees. That's true, it can, it can, it can rotate 360 degrees. It also fires accurately. Sir, it can be used for border deployment. Thank you, sir. The print operated rifle. So due to the insurgency which we've been experiencing in the country, whereby our own weapons are captured and used against us, this informed the construction of this project. So a soldier goes to the armory in the morning and his fingerprint is assigned to a particular box number of a rifle so that in case it's captured, it will be useless to the enemy. And on return to the armory, all records are erased so that another person, another soldier, can be able to sign the same rifle. Yeah. Additionally, every employee is issued with this RFID card. This RFID card, on the swipe, it prompts the system to use with demands for your facial recognition and your fingerprint recognition. When these both features matches, then your, the exact date and time of that attendance is taken to that officer. Additionally, that is a function generator. What this function generator does is to produce electrical signals, which is used for the development of this biometric system. Sir. Of what we are doing now is this emblem. 